Hi, I'm Chad, and we just arrived in Piedmont. Piedmont is one of the premier wine regions in the world. They're known for their Barolos and their Barbarescos, which are some of the greatest wines ever made. It was incredible driving in here today because all of a sudden you looked up and there were just vines everywhere, up and down all the hillsides. In fact, if you look behind me, you can tell that there's just vines everywhere you look. There's so much wine being made here, it's incredible. We're really excited. Uh, the place we're staying is at the apartments for Fratelli Ravello. They've been very gracious to let us stay here and we're very excited to be here. Uh, we're going to visit a lot of great wineries and um, I can't wait. So the Barola region of Piedmont has three main hillsides that run north to south. La Mora in the northwest of the region, Castiglione Filetto in the center, and Serralunga in the southeast. Villages dot the hilltops all up and down the region. Since Barola is a very vineyard-centric appellation, this helps you to remember where a particular wine comes from. My wife Jamie and I are staying in an apartment owned by Fratelli Ravello, a winery I'm fond of that makes some great Barolos. The apartment is located on a ridge just below the commune of La Mora, a charming little town that looks out over the rest of the region. It's one of the highest points in the area. This DOCG is named for the commune of Barola, which sits on the southwestern side of the area, halfway between La Mora and another small commune, Monforte d'Alba. Most of the wineries we'll be visiting this week are Barolo producers. Barolo wines are usually characterized by red fruits such as cherries and raspberries, and are always very tannic. They are made from 100% Nebbiolo, which is incredibly unique to Piedmont. No other wine region in the world grows it on such a grand scale. Beyond the Barolo region, the other significant DOCG in Piedmont is Barbaresco. The Barbaresco region lies about 30 minutes northeast of Barolo, past the small city of Alba. The town of Barbaresco makes its mark on the landscape with its tall, jutting tower. Personally, I like Barbaresco's just a little bit more than Barolo's, so I'm really excited that we'll be visiting two wineries in Barbaresco, Carome this afternoon and Sotomano later in the week. Barbaresco and Barolo are really just the areas around the eponymous towns. The whole area includes much more and is called the Langa. Throughout this region, the Piemontes also grow a good amount of Barbera and Dolcetto, as well as Moscato. These wines tend to be more approachable, and, especially in the case of Dolcetto, can be classified as everyday drinking wines. In addition to being one of the most important wine regions in Italy and the world, Piedmont is also known for their hazelnuts. They pair them a lot with the wine up here actually because they're a very rich nut and have almost like a buttery quality to them so it actually pairs pretty nicely with the, the really heavy wines. But you'll see groves of them all over the, the mountains here right in along with the vineyards. Um, so you know there, there's a lot of these little, little uh, hazelnut trees growing around. One of the other unique climate conditions of the region is the pervasive fog that descends on the vineyards, particularly around harvest time in the fall. In fact, the Italian word for fog is nebbia, which is where most people think that Nebbiolo gets its name from. I'm really overwhelmed by the beauty of the region, but I can't wait for the real reason we came here, to taste great wine and hopefully great food as well.